I've been doing art my entire life. There are images that kind of reach out to me and speak to me that let me know they need to be painted and I go, okay, I'll paint you. And I make those paintings. In the last eight years, I've really thrown myself into having a conversation with the fog. And I find that at night, there's very few distractions. And so it's me and the fog and light. Sometimes the paintings are a combination of photograph and still life and imagination. So a weaving of all those uh, elements. The San Francisco seawall binocular machine paintings, the oil and the watercolor, and those were subjects that have interested me for years and they kind of called out to me for uh, this last summer is when I produced those. I mean, you could call it photorealism, hyperrealism. Um, I, I think of it myself more as just realism. I found some fog, it's called Thule fog, it's a blue fog um, off of Ocean Avenue. And one time I, I tried to uh, film it, I, I got out of my car, I got set up, and the fog moved. I grabbed my camera and the tripod and ran down the street and set up again. The fog moved again. I couldn't film this Thule fog. It wouldn't stay still long enough to be photographed. My first sale was when I was six years old. My father, who was really supportive, would give me paper and pencil and just encourage me to draw. And then he would submit some of them to the San Francisco Chronicle Junior Art Champion. At the age of six, I won with a drawing called Reach for the Sky with the cowboy holding his hands up, being robbed in a bar. He had a big martini uh, on the bar. And I got $2 a payment for having uh, won the championship that day. And that started me down the sordid path of art for money. <laughs> I see being alive as being involved in a conversation. And the conversation is with everything. It makes me see that we're larger than how we imagine ourselves. And, um, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm very grateful.